programming your T-Sentry Model 140. After you plug in your Hampshire Controls T-Sentry Model 140 and install your sensor probe, the unit needs some more information before you can walk away. Follow these steps and in a few minutes you can program your Model 140 to alert you for high temperature limit and low temperature limit. Then you can set your initial alarm delay period, your relay delay option period, and the alarm silence mute period. Are you plugged in? Did you remove the screw to activate the battery? Is the probe in place? What do you want your alarm to tell you? For this demonstration, I have chosen high temperature limit, 5 degrees centigrade, low temperature limit, 1 degree centigrade, alarm delay, 5 minutes, relay delay option, 10 minutes, alarm silence mute, 15 minutes. Well, let's do it. High temperature, hold down the mute program button for a few seconds. You'll see HI for high. Set it using your increase and decrease buttons. I'm going to set this for 5 degrees centigrade. If my probe senses temperatures at or above 5 degrees after the initial alarm delay period, which is 5 minutes, the alarm will be triggered. Low temperature. Now hit the program button until you see LO for low. Increase or decrease until you have your low temperature setting. I'm setting this for 1 degree centigrade. When the probe hits 1 or below, the alarm mode starts after my initial alarm delay. Alarm delay. Depending on where you put your probe, there may be reasons for the temperature to rise or fall temporarily. You decide what your alarm delay will be to prevent what we call transient nuisance alarms. One example is if a person opens a door to a refrigerator unit, the temperature may go up for a minute, but not be something you want the alarm to sound for. The door closes and everything goes back to normal. You can set this for 0 to 30 minutes. I'm setting this one for 5 minutes. Relay delay. Okay, your alarm goes off and if you don't set this, your relay delay also operates. You may want some time between when the alarm goes off and when the relay contact starts. This gives you some time to check out why the alarm is happening before the relay contact happens. I need about five minutes to check things out before my unit activates my security company. So I'm setting this for 10 minutes. Alarm silence. You may want to silence the alarm while you're checking things out. Set this for how long you want the alarm to chirp before going back to full volume again. Don't walk away yet. Hit the program button and check the commands you just did to make sure they're what you want. I wanted high temperature limit 5 degrees, low temperature limit 1 degree, alarm delay 5 minutes, relay delay option 10 minutes, alarm silence mute 15 minutes. I'm all set. Do you need more help? You can replay this video or contact us. www.hampshirecontrols.com or use our toll-free number 1-866-496-9400.